Hello everybody and welcome to today's AMA session on the AMD Ryzen 5000 series processors. It's going to be a very, very special session because it's not just me who's going to be talking to you about these new processors from AMD, but we've got two very distinguished gentlemen with us here to answer some of your questions. We've got Mr. Vikas Jain, who is the consumer head for AMD India, and Mr. Mukesh Bajpai, who is the marketing head for AMD India. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Swapnil. Uh, extremely excited to be part of this live session on uh, Ryzen 5000 series. Look forward to an interesting conversation today. Thank you. Thanks, Swapnil. Uh, thanks for inviting us uh, to your studio today to be part of this great session. Let's roll. Great. And on that note, so let's have our first question already. So the first question is from Abin Santosh, who wants to know that apart from Acer Aspire 7, are there any other laptops with Ryzen 5000 series available in India? There's actually quite a few. Asus recently launched a number of products within various uh, families, in fact. You have gaming, thin and light, portable, and even mainstream machines that are all powered by Ryzen 5000 series processors. So you have literally uh, abundance of choice over there and other OEMs are expected to follow very, very soon as well. All right, and I think uh, this one, I'm gonna let Mr. Vikas answer. So this is from Vivek, who wants to know, uh, what are the, what TDP are the Ryzen Mobile 5000 series processors pegged at? Thanks, thanks for the uh, great question. Uh, the Ryzen 5000 series mobile processors actually support uh, configurable TDPs to allow for the okay. optimal performance. The typical TDPs for Ryzen U series processors are 15 watt. For HS series processors, it's 35 watts. And for H and HX, it's 45 watt. All Hope right. I've answered it great. to the. So there you go. You've got everything from 15 to 45 watt plus. And I mean, if that doesn't cover any and every use case, I don't know what does. So that's the answer. Next, we have a question from Ritvik Bhattacharya, who wants to know, uh, when are AMD Ryzen 5000 H series laptops coming to India? Buddy, they're already here. Asus, in fact, just announced a number of laptops in the SCAR 15. In fact, they're not just the SCAR, but also the TUF series. Uh, they're available already. Not all of the models are here yet. Asus did announce that it will be a two-stage rollout. So the first stage has already happened, and there are machines available if you wanted them. Mr. Mukesh, I think this one will be to, for you. I, you'd sure. be the best person to answer this. Um, so Abhijit has said that AMD was recently recognized as the most trusted brand of India under the semiconductor category. And you know, this is uh, an annual study done by TRA Research. So what is your take on this achievement? Sure, Sapnil, I should have anticipated this one coming. So let me share with you that uh, in fact, 2020 has been a breakthrough year for AMD, yeah. and uh, we have made tremendous progress in terms of establishing AMD as a high-performance computing uh, a brand in the PC, gaming, and the data center space. Right. Uh, we are thrilled to be recognized as uh, the topmost or the number one trusted brand uh, in the semiconductor space by TRA's brand study. Uh, India Report 2020 and uh, all thanks uh, to our great engineers for coming up with such best of the class products in the market, our OEM partners, all of them, as well as our uh, retail or the channel partners for that matter, for, es for helping us establish or cementing the business growth in the region. Right. Of course, we look forward uh, to taking this progress much further ahead in the coming years and uh, making uh, available great products, great choice for the consumers to help them choose from a series of uh, Ryzen processors, ready on graphic cards, and uh, epic processors in the data center space. Great, looking forward to that, and of course, congratulations on this achievement as well. Thank you, thank you very All much. Right. Mr. Vikas, I have a reader question for you. Mr. Ram Sharma wants to know, uh, could you tease some of the upcoming technologies that AMD is working on for 2021 to push the gaming experience? Yeah, I would say it's a great question, Ram. Uh, while I cannot comment on the unannounced products, uh, <laughs> uh, but AMD has always delivered a rich experience and innovation in PC gaming, right. uh, along with deep connects with the community. In 2020, 
We took leadership position in gaming by launching the next generation of processors, graphic cards, and consoles. We definitely would continue to ride on this wave in 2021 with a special focus on A plus A plus A Advantage program. Just stay tuned. Uh, right. yeah, thanks. So I guess you'll just have to wait to see what's lined up for next year. Actually, this year, 20, it's only 2021. 21, yeah. Wow. I'm a little thirsty now, so I'm going to direct the next question to you, Mr. Mukesh. Sure. <laughs> uh, it's from Kiran M. And uh, Kiran wants to know, what are AMD's focus areas in gaming? What are the partnerships? Actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to take this one. It's a better question for me. Uh, so this is about what are AMD's focus areas in gaming? And what kind of partnerships is AMD leveraging to create dominance in this sector? Um, do you feel you want to answer that or should I take it up? Any which way, I mean, I can, I, can, I can start and you can build it up from there. That's okay. Cool. I would love to hear what you have to say on sure. this. So, uh, Kiran, if you see, basically, gaming has traditionally been AMD's forte and uh, definitely our focus area going forward as well. So, we have been trying to establish a connect and uh, as well as uh, our brand identity within the <coughs> no, sorry within the gamer community and anything which has to do with gaming today has right. to resonate with AMD. Uh, we have a powerful tagline: "Gaming begins here at AMD." Right. Okay, so so that shows the importance of gaming to AMD and our focus, uh, how it has been and how it will continue uh, going forward. Now, in terms of promoting it, we have been highly leveraging the digital platforms and the importance of digital platforms is increasing day by day, as we all know. So we have been leveraging them to the hilt and uh, we'll continue to do so to establish our uh, brand identity and our uh, preference. And of course, we have seen great results uh, with this going forward. Uh, we have been seeing, uh, seeing some great uh, improvement in consideration and preference for AMD products when it comes to uh, the gaming uh, PC or right. uh, anything which has to do with the gaming. Uh, in terms of a partnership, because another part of that question was about mm -hmm. our ecosystem partnership. So of course we have we are into great partnership with all of our OEM partners, all of our OEM PC partners. Mm -hmm. But along with that, we have some good uh, partnerships uh, going with our ecosystem partners, like uh, say uh, Microsoft or Western Digital. And we look forward to building on these partnerships because they they tend to render us a lot of uh, strength in terms of. Uh, cutting across the messaging to mm -hmm. the end consumer, as well as uh, amplifying our marketing efforts around gaming. So Great. that's that's my take. Uh, you want to add something to this? I, I think your take was way more detailed than what I had to say. Uh, all I wanted to actually just add to that was, you know, uh, we've had a number of OEMs come forward and announce uh, Ryzen 5000 series based laptops. Well, with specifically with gaming, you know, um, this year, uh, Asus's 90% gaming portfolio is AMD based and that speaks volumes with the kind of confidence this product has sort of instilled in a brand that is, again, so much just for gamers, right? So I think that's a really, really uh, key statement for the reliability and the kind of trust that AMD sort of brings to the table when it comes to gaming performance. All right. So those are actually very interesting questions, I would say. What do you, what do you guys feel? No, I, I think, uh, Swapnil, uh, uh, great insights. And uh, I think uh, I myself learned a uh, <laughs> couple of things out of this session. Uh, awesome. And uh, hope to carry forward the legacy, you know, uh, in the times to come as we, as we continue to launch uh, innovative products for the Indian consumers. Awesome. We would love to have you guys again. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot for having Anytime. us here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank and you. thank all of you for joining in, asking such wonderful questions and taking the time out for just, you know, making sure that we do our job well. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.